You know, what's happening in the Middle East, Israel, Gaza, to say the obvious, is very serious. It's going to evoke a lot of emotions across the world. In fact, it has evoked a lot of emotions across the world. And it will have an impact in this region too, uh, Singapore, Southeast Asia. There are deep divides in how people are reacting. Uh, and as the conflict unfolds, these divides are inevitably going to become deeper. There is also, I mean, if you look at the divide, the significant divide in this region, other places, is often along racial and religious lines. And the two sides hold their respective views deeply, passionately. Our position on Israel-Palestine and our support for the two-state solution is well known. It has been stated repeatedly. My remarks on the current situation are directed primarily at the security issues relating to Singapore. And I'll make two points in that context. One, in no circumstances can we accept any kind of terrorist attack. Hamas's attack on Israel, attacking and massacring civilians, is a massive terrorist attack. The kidnapping and unjustified murder of children, acts of cruelty, are shocking, horrifying. And this extreme violence must be condemned in clear, unequivocal terms. You know, it is possible to hold very strong views on what is happening in the region. It is possible to deplore how the Palestinians have been treated over the years. It is possible to deeply sympathize with the plight of the Palestinians and yet still unequivocally condemn the terrorist attacks carried out in Israel. These atrocities cannot be justified by any rationale whatsoever, whether of fundamental problems or historical grievances. The second point I'll make, there is going to be a very severe reaction. Israel is going to react with its full might. We need to be clear about our stance. We condemn all acts of terrorism and wanton violence. But we must not let these events happening externally affect the internal situation within Singapore. We must in Singapore maintain our racial and religious peace. We have to stay vigilant. Terrorist groups will exploit such conflicts. They have already issued calls for followers to join in a wider jihad against Israel. There have also been reports of anti-Semitic attacks, incidents overseas. Our position has been made very clear over the years. We act against anyone who promotes or espouses extremism and violence. We have detained Singaporeans under the Internal Security Act because they fell for the pro-Hamas narrative and wanted to fight. One was detained in March 2021. He wanted to travel to Gaza to fight alongside Hamas. He also planned a knife attack against Jews at a synagogue in Singapore. A second person was detained in November of last year. He had also made plans to travel to Gaza to fight with Hamas after watching videos online. But, you know, we have also detained individuals who intended to attack Muslim targets in Singapore. For example, a boy was detained in December 2020. He had made plans to conduct knife attacks against Muslims in two mosques in Singapore. He was influenced by the Christchurch attack. So far, we have managed to avoid letting international events like these destabilize us within Singapore. This is going to be quite a tough period, but our fundamental attitude cannot change. We are all Singaporeans. We have a precious peace within Singapore. We must never let external events affect that.